Generally speaking, the confidence interval for a confidence level is equal to x bar plus or minus a z-score times the standard error of the mean. That z-score is specific to the confidence level that we're interested in. So if we were interested in the confidence level of 68.2%, then the z-score that we are going to use is just equal to 1. What you're not seeing here is the 1. 1 standard error, minus 1 standard error. So in that case, the z-score was just equal to 1. If our sampling distribution is not uh, normally distributed, if it's t-distributed, then instead of using z-scores, we're going to use t-scores. So when we want to calculate a confidence interval, we're going to have to find out which z-score to use. And that is going to be based on the confidence level. So in this question, uh, what is the 99% confidence interval around a house price? The confidence level is 99%. We're going to use a table of confidence of a table uh, in order to, to find out what the z-score should be in this case. Here's the example of the table. It's table D from the back of your book. Across the top, we have different levels of confidence. And going down the side, we have different levels of degrees of freedom, DF, for different t-distributions. What you'll see is that the bottom row of this table has an infinity. And the infinity here signifies that we are dealing with a t-distribution with an infinite number of degrees of freedom. And remember that when the t-distribution has more and more degrees of freedom, it actually becomes a normal distribution. So, this row of the table corresponds to z-scores rather than t-scores. In order to find the 99% confidence interval, we're going to go down the 99% column and all the way down to the bottom row of z-scores. And we see here, that kind of blocked it, that the z-score that we're interested in is 2.58. So based on our formula, the confidence interval for 99% is equal to x bar plus or minus the z-score for 99% times the standard error of the mean. That was equal to 350,000 plus or minus, we just saw that the z-score is 2.58 from the table, times the standard error of the mean, which we said was $3,000. So this equals to 350,000 plus minus 7,740. So in order to be, uh, so we can be 99% sure that the mean sales price is in this confidence interval.